with Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, but he did not make ihram. He did not have intention of Umrah. He was just going with them. On the way, he saw a uh, zebra. Zebra, and he hunted zebra. And some of the Sahaba, he put to some of the Sahaba, come and help. He said, no, no, we are in ihram. We are not allowed to do so. We are not allowed to do so. Then what he had done, he took that one and slaughtered it and ate from it. Ate from it. And the Sahaba, they ate as well. And they came to Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told them, okay, bring me some, I will eat as well. For the Muslim, as we will know from this, for a person who is going to Umrah on the journey, when he made intention from the Miha, not from here, New Zealand, no. Like you go to um, Jeddah or before the Jeddah, or you, you go to Medina and from the Al-Qaraifa, you make Ihram, after the Ihram you are not allowed to hunt. Therefore, oh, not point as well, and not help as well, no, 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 nothing you can do. You will be safest person, safest person. Therefore, Abu Qutad al Ansari he hunt the zebra, zebra is halal to eat, okay? Mm -hmm. But donkey is haram. Donkey, which is in the family with us, you know, that is haram, and zebra eating zebra is no problem, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen. Wild donkey also haram, chef? Sorry? Wild donkey. Wild donkey is zebra. Zebra is not haram, no. Oh, wild donkey is zebra. Zebra, oh, yes. is it? The that is zebra. One. Yeah, white yeah. But wild donkey, okay. Yes, it is zebra. It's calling ah. zebra, isn't it? Ah, sorry, Sheikh. We just there is wild donkey, except for zebra. There is also wild uh, donkey yes. Yes. around in Tibet and some other countries. There is wild donkey actually. They are donkey, but they are wild. They live in the, the like bush or, or desert area, but they are wild. They are not belong to anyone. Mm -hmm. They eat, breed there, like not belong to anyone. Like how the zebra are. Yeah, but they are donkeys. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I, I have read hadith about that. Previously, at the beginning, Prophet ﷺ was allowed to eat wild yes. donkey. But later on, I think it's, it has been uh, forbidden, or I don't I think so. It has been yes, forbidden. Yes, uh, uh, I just have about, that is about donkey. Yeah. In uh, battle of, uh, uh, battle of uh, Khaybar. Battle of Khaybar. Two things become haram, which was a halal biku. Donkey was yeah. haram biku, halal biku, and also nikah al muta. Nikah al muta means to have a, a nikah for limited temporary, time. Temporary, temporary marriage. Temporary marriage. That was allowed. In that day, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that is haram. For day of, till day of judgment. Day of judgment. Uh, donkey, haram become haram that day, and zebra is still allowed, uh, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen, to eat. Okay, <clears throat> our story, inshallah ta'ala, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, with his companions, they made 1,400, they made ihram, and they sent one of the sahabi, his name is Busr ibn Sufyan, to go to Mecca and tell us the news, what are they thinking about our coming arrivals in Mecca and Mukarramah. He went and the Bishrasam started his journey. And when they reached to Asafan, Asafan, Busr ibn Sufyan, he returned back to who? To the uh, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa, wa alihi wa sallam. Asafan in that is very close place to, to Makkah al Makarama, very close to Makkah al Makarama. Then Busr he he, he, he told to Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi that the Kufar, Ahli Makkah, people of Makkah, they are so angry. And no one wants you people to enter to, to Makkah for Umrah, for worship, or, 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 or whatsoever. They are angry. Then he advised Mr. Salaam to stop, not to go anywhere, no more out, or forward. Because he realized the anger of whom? The, uh, the Mushrikeen. In that time, Khalid ibn Walid, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he was not Muslim. He was not Muslim. And he took his people uh, and uh, he went to Quran al Khamim. Quran al Khamim is 64 kilometers away from Mecca, toward Medina. 64. How many kilometers? 64, 64. kilometers away. He went that they will see Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in fight and stop them. Don't come to Mecca al Mecca. We don't want, we're not welcoming you to come to Mecca al Mukarramah. Then what happened? Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he 
he got it for Sahaba in big mashwara. What should we do now? Shall we go for Umrah Makkah or shall we return back? Then Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, let's go to the houses of such people, Arab, in which they are aligned with the Quraysh. Aligned with the Quraysh and helping them. We go and attack them, take their house and what will happen? They will come from the Quraysh and they will leave Quraysh alone. Then Abu Bakr Siddiq Radiallahu Ta'ala Anhu, he told him, Ya Rasulullah, our intention is only Umrah. We didn't come for fight and we didn't come for anything else. Let's go and we do our Umrah, we do not fight. And the rules in, in that time was, whomever comes for Ibadah to Makkah, they were safe. From anywhere, they come, either that is Muslim or non-Muslim or whatsoever, they were going to Ibadah there. They are safe. But, uh, um, Abu Bakr Siddiq was told, Ya Rasulullah, we came for Umrah, we will go for Umrah with Allah Ta'ala. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi says, Okay, inshallah, the Umzu, ala bismillah. By the name of Allah, let's go forward. Let's go to the, uh, to Makkah al Mukarramah. But on the way, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, uh, he, he told to the Sahaba, let's change the way. Because Khalid ibn Walid is coming the alone, one way, you know. Famous way is coming on that way. And uh, let's change the way. That, they changed a bit of the way, but a bit harsh on the Sahaba, that was very difficult for them. But uh, they reached to Bia, to Hudaybiyah. They reached to Hudaybiyah. In Hudaybiyah, the camel, she camel of the Bissarasim set straight away by itself, without any reason, without the only reason. Then Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sahaba said that uh, the Tanakh of Qaswa set in a place which is not appropriate. Why is it set? Then Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, uh, Qaswa, this uh, camel, she came set there, stopped as the elephant of the other has stopped. They were not going to Makkah, isn't it? That's why they, they, they stopped as well. Then afterwards, uh, uh, they had a bit of time there, and then Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam made the camel stand back to walk. Then the camel stood and we reached to the other side of Adabiyah, like this is green here. From South uh, Green Dean to North, East of, uh, North Green Dean. They reached to the, to the north of Arabia, for example. Then the Qaswa, the, the camel sat again there. Then Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Okay, let's sit here now. Let's he sit over here. In that time, the Sahaba, they got uh, very thirsty. Very thirsty. There was water, there was water, but very limited. There was a work, but very limited water. In Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told two narrations. Take my arrow, he has one arrow with him, and put it in the bowl, and the water will increase. That happened. They have done it, the water increased. If you want to drink, mashallah, the water of the land, you water, alhamdulillah. Or another narration says that, that Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he took a bucket, he spit in the bucket, and threw it into the well. A lot of water will come came out, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. In the same time, uh, <coughs> Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was so sad upon the Quraysh. He said, these Quraysh are really respected people. Respected people. Everyone comes from any part of the, the, the world and they worship there and they respect Quraysh. If we tried and tried, they did before as well, died a lot of them before, if they die, then what will happen? Then he was feeling sorry for the Quraysh that we won't, won't fight with them, we not harm them, we don't do anything with those people. Then what happened? Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he was trying to let them know that we are not here for fight with you people. With you people, we only here for the Umrah. Then what happened? Uh, when Quraysh, they understood that Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he came for Umrah, then he sent one, one person, they sent one person to go to Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to negotiate with him, negotiate with him. Then he, they sent Budayl ibn Warqa. Budayl ibn Warqa, he went to Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he informed Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam about the intention of the Quraysh. The Quraysh, they don't want you people in any way to enter to the Makkah, to Makkah. 
they will harm you, they will kill you, don't come. Then Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he, he told them, we are here only for umrah, not for fight. We are not fighting with them and they are, you know, we don't want to harm them as well. We will go just make a umrah and we will return back to our Medina, nothing else, nothing else. Then he returned and he told him, the Prophet told him, if they would like to fight with us and uh, make us fight, then I will be, the Prophet said, I will be the first to fight. I will never go and never go and run away. I will never run away. When Budayl ibn Umar, he went back to, the, uh, to Kufar and told him about the Prophet that he has intention to enter. And he coming for the Umrah only. Then the Quraysh he used very really bad words to Budayl ibn Warqa, very bad use the words. Uh, and he didn't say anything to the Quraysh. He didn't say anything to the Quraysh. Then afterwards, the Prophet himself, he sent another Sahabi, Kharash ibn Umayyah. Kharash ibn Umayyah. And he gave him a camel, take this camel and go there and inform the Quraysh that we are coming for the Umrah only. When he reached there, then the Kufar, they tried to, they injured the camel and tried to kill him. Tried to kill him. Then uh, uh, the, his people, people of his tribe saved him. People of his tribe saved him, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Then afterwards, uh, Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu, uh, the Prophet told to Umar radiallahu ya Umar, you go. You go to Mecca and talk to people of Mecca that we are here for Umrah, nothing else. We are not fighting with you people. And Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu told him, oh my Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I am from Banu Ali, Banu Ali from Quraysh, okay? And you know there are not, uh, not many of Banu Ali in, in Makkah al Mukarrama. They all came to Madinah Munawwa. They are out from. Uh, if I go there and you, I know how I'm meeting with these people and they know me very well, uh, then there will, be a, there will be a problem. There will be a problem. And there is no my people as well to support me, to back me up as well. Therefore, I don't want to go, I, I will tell you, I will appoint someone, I will tell you about someone. If you send him, he will be the one which which do the job, insha'Allah ta'ala. Who is he? He is Uthman ibn Arfan radiallahu ta'ala. Uthman ibn Arfan radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Then Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he sent Uthman radiallahu ta'ala anhu to Mecca. And then he went to the house of Aban ibn Sa'id ibn al-As. Aban ibn Sa'id ibn al-As. Then Kufar, they offered him, Rasmar al-Zahur, who was a rich person, a respected person in Makkah al Mukarram. Then they offered him to go and make tawaf around the Kaaba. He says, he told them, I will never make tawaf till Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam make tawaf around the Kaaba. Then I will do the, uh, the tawaf about, uh, around Kaaba. What happened? In the same time, Quraysh hold on to Osman for a few days. He didn't come. And the news came to Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that the Quraysh, they killed whom? Osman And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he, he was so angry that why they killed Osman. In that time, if you send someone to any person, other camp, any person, that person have to be protected. No one can harm that person. Then Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he called all the Sahaba to come and do the bay'ah with me. Bay'ah, that we will be patient. Bay'ah, that we will never run away from Medina. And we fight with the mushrikeen. We fight the mushrikeen kuffar because they will kill Uthman radiallahu ta'ala anhu. They all got together under the, the tree. And the first Sahabi was Abu Sinan ibn Abdullah ibn Wahab al-Asadi. Abu Sinan. Abdullah ibn Wahab al-Asadi. He was the first one came to Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and gave bay'ah to Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Islamic promise to Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Then afterward all the Sahaba came, came, came. Finally, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he put his right hand on left hand. That this is bay'ah of who? Uthman ibn Affan radiallahu ta'ala. And therefore, Uthman ibn Affan was so happy with that. So happy that Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he had done the bay'ah behalf of me, with himself, subhanAllah. And that is the virtue of whom, of Uthman ta'ala anhu. 
that uh, bay'at called bay'at al-ridwan bay'at al-ridwan well, why it's called bay'at al-ridwan because Allah Ta'ala revealed this ayah لَقَدْ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ عَنِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ إِذْ يُبَيْعُونَكَ تَحْتَ الشَّجْرَةِ Allah is agreed from those who make a promise with you under the tree that's why it's called bay'at al-ridwan bay'at al-ridwan we will stop here inshallah a nice story inshallah tabarak ta'ala if I give you briefly, it will take me two minutes to finish Sultan Qadabiyya. But we will explain a bit more that you will understand more. That there was a lot of negotiation going between the Prophet and the Kuffar. A lot, a lot, a lot. And this was said of them a lot, but they didn't accept. Simple, the Prophet wanted the Umrah. Kuffar didn't want them to go to Umrah. Then they stopped them. And there was a uh, condition. <coughs> you people go back to Medina Mudawara this year. In 10 years, we won't have fight. Next year, you come back. If anyone revolt for to Islam, return him to us. If anyone leave Islam and come to us, become Murtad and come to us, we won't return him back to you people. To you people. These are Gunuts. And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi agreed to it. And Nabi Sallallahu left. Uh, that uh, place, Qadabiyya, and return to Medina and Munawwara. But only thing is, we will talk in the single words, uh, thing to know better, inshallah, that Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi tried his best a lot and a lot, nothing happened, therefore Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam agreed with them and come back to Medina and Munawwara. Next class, inshallah, we will talk about uh, Uthman al-Tarabur's return uh, to, uh, to Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to Qadabiyya Bay. And what Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam decided after words, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Subhanakallah, wa bihamdik, wa sallallahu wa tubi ilayhi, wa sallallahu wa alameen, wa muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Shaykh, um, <coughs> one question. Um, all the niyad normally we can do from anywhere, or before that we start any ibadah. So, but uh, according to this uh, Umrah, we need to make the uh, niyat or intention in Mecca, yeah. But normally, if we let's say if you're going to make Umrah, we we make the niyat and that's why we buy the ticket. We we say that we're going. I'm going to do Umrah. You know, we buy a ticket and then we go to Mecca for Umrah. So that means our niyat which we made in in New Zealand, it doesn't come into account. Uh, as a uh, niyat or intention, right? So we have to do it in Mecca. Jazakallah <laughs> khairan hadith There is a sharia for uh, hajj, mawaqeed al-zaman. There is a specific time for hajj. Hajj starts Eid bil hijjah yawm al and finish 13th of the hijjah after yawm al tashriq This is the time. For umrah, any time we can go for Umrah, alhamdulillah, during the years, days, and nights, we can go for Umrah. But for the Mawakit al Zaman, Makan, there is more, a specific place to make intention for Umrah and Hajj. Specific place you have to make Ihram. Ihram means you have intention and you wear your clothes as well for the men, women, and clothes. Therefore, Nabi Sallallahu appointed the five places. For the Mawaki, we are the Hajjaj with or Mawatamirin make intention from their place, from those places. Yeah. There are five. These are places. Now, what is best? To make ihram before those places? Like we go and we make ihram from New Zealand. Or shall we go to Jaffa, which is in, 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 in Jeddah, and we make intention? The best is what the Prophet have done. See, we learn today as well in Surah Qadabiyah. The Prophet he left Medina Munawara and went to the Khalifa. The Khalifa is 14 kilometers away from Masjid in Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And when Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam reached to the Khalifa, he made an intention. 
that they come on earth. He made a nature from that place. And even the Prophet he could make a, a haram from Medina as well. But this is the place. If a person has intention to go for Hajj or Umrah, and he passed that uh, miqat, then he have to sacrifice one animal for the sake of Allah Ta'ala. This is the best place because the Prophet Sallallahu have done. Can we do it before that? Yes, we can do. Yes, we can do. But the best is to make a haram from that. We go to Zarqalifa, we go to Jukba, that the Gharb, we go to there, and we make a haram from those places. That is the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam chosen for those people from Ahli Yemen, Medina, Iraq, Najd. And the Prophet Sallallahu says, whoever coming on those way, from any part of the world, make a haram in these places. Therefore, okay. to follow the Sunnah of the Prophet order of the Prophet we go there, intention is from the, now here, but we are not wearing a haram. We go there and make intention of Umrah and Hajj with the Lahi Ta'ala to act upon the Sunnah of the Bee. So in that case, uh, the niyat of Umrah, it has to be with uh, the, with the uh, ikram together. Yes. So without ikram, they won't, the, the niyat won't be accepted, right? Uh, Looks niyat, like, like your that. intention will be accepted. Ikram is from arkan, from pillar of the Umrah and pillar of the Hajj. Pillar of the Hajj, five pillars of the Hajj. Seven wajibat of the Hajj, seven wajibat of the Hajj, inshallah. We will talk about that sometime, bismillah. Ihram, to be an ihram for a man, this is rukun. Have to be. Have to be. Uh, from the, uh, this is from the, uh, to, to, to be an ihram, this is have to be. That have to be from the, uh, from the miqat, inshallah, tabarakah, wa ta'ala. We will talk about that, inshallah. More and more we learn more in the Haji has to reach there first. Who? You have to buy a ticket and go there first. No, he went twice. Yeah. He went. yeah. So next time you have to go there and after that decide what am I doing? Inshallah. Staying for Haji or want to do Umrah first? <coughs> inshallah. Jazakallah. Oh, yeah. Jazakallah. 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 Jazakallah.